In this Gimp Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how I repaired this ripped photo. Now first I scanned both pieces of the photo together as one photo on a slightly larger piece of paper. And this allowed me to leave a gap between the two pieces and put a slight border around the edge. Now I want each piece of the photo on a separate layer. So I click on the free select tool in the toolbox and I'm going to very roughly select this bottom piece of photo Then I click on edit in the menu bar, come down and click on cut, then I click on edit again, come down to paste as and go across and down and click on new layer. Then I click on select and none. Now you can see there that GIMP has pasted my cut selection onto a new layer. And if you look at my layers panel, you'll see that GIMP has named my new layer Clipboard. Now the new layer is smaller than the original layer and it has a transparent area on it. And so when you look in the image window, you can still see part of the underneath layer as well. Now if you find it confusing, I can go to the Layers panel and click on the eye on the original layer to temporarily hide it. Now notice though that I still have the top layer selected. And now I want to remove this area of white around this top layer. So I click on the Fuzzy Select tool in the toolbox and I'm going to increase the threshold to about 50 so that I select all of the white. Now all photos are different and yours may require a different amount of threshold. Then I click in that white area above the rip and that selects it and I press delete on my keyboard to delete it. Then I click on Select and None. And now I go back to the Layers panel and I go to that bottom layer and I click where the eye was. And you'll see now that the bottom layer is visible again and the eye is back. Now I click on the Move tool in the toolbox and I drag that top layer down to below the bottom layer. And to line it up properly, I'm going to click on the Zoom tool and zoom up on that white rip mark. Then I click on the Move tool again and line it up as well as I can. Now I'm going to zoom it back down to check it. And I think that looks okay. So I want to make it into one layer again. And to do that, I click on Layer in the menu bar. And come down and click on Merge Down. And you'll see that in my Layers panel, I've only got one layer now. And now I need to get rid of this white mark. So I'll zoom up on the first part of that white mark by clicking on the zoom tool and dragging out a rectangle over it. And I'm going to use the clone tool. So I click on the clone tool and I'm using the Hardness 050 brush and at the moment the default size is 20. Now I'm going to set my first source here. So to create the source, I hold down the control key and click my left mouse button. And now I can click or drag my cursor 
to copy that source area where I want it to go. And I'll change the source here. Now because this pattern is continually changing, I'm going to have to continually change my source. Now if you make a mistake, all you have to do is click on Edit and go Undo Clone. Or you can hold down the Control key on your keyboard and press the Z key. Now I am going just a little bit fast here. And that's because I'm not really trying to do a perfect job. I'm really just trying to show you how you can fix your own photos. And now I'll move the photo across simply by dragging that slider bar that's at the bottom of the image window. Now I want to make my source in here, and I think I need a far smaller brush for that. So I'll decrease the size of the brush to 10. Now I'll increase the size again, back to 20.
Now I'll reduce the size again and see what it looks like. Now as I said, I'm not trying to do a perfect job here. I'm simply trying to show you how you can fix your own photo and I think that's good enough. So now what I do is tidy up the edges and check that it's square. And to do that I'll use the crop tool in the toolbox and just drag out a rectangle over it. And to confirm the crop, I simply press the Enter key on my keyboard. And there it is. Now if I want to save this as a new photo, I click on File, click on Export, I give it a new name, and I'll just call it Ripped Photo Fixed. And then it's .jpg, so it's a JPEG. I make sure it's going to my pictures library and click export. And then I click export again. And now I can close this project without saving it because I have a copy of the photo in my pictures library of my computer. So I hope that helps, but if you've got any problems or suggestions, please leave a comment.